Hey Bobcats, welcome back to day two of um, proportional versus non-proportional comparisons. So yesterday was jet ski and we had Rodney with his um, hourly wage and we had the lawn mowing situation. Today we're going to talk about two different types of um, ways to download music and two different costs and things and we'll take some data and decide if it's proportional or not. Okay, so you're begging your parents um, to let you download music, um, they're starting to relent, and they ask you to go find some prices. So Apple Music charges 99 cents per downloaded song. Spotify, said that funny, excuse me, Spotify charges 4.99 per month to listen to music and 49 cents per song. Use the handout to organize your data and make a case for which company you would prefer. Keep in mind that your parents may limit the amount of money you spend on music. And we'll complete the table and the graph as well. So I'm looking at what my X and Y would be. Remember this middle column is my thought process column. So my X and my Y and then my X and my Y. So what is X? X is the number of songs. Okay, so 49 cents per song. Let me keep color code here. And then 99 cents per song. All right. So let's focus on Apple Music first. No fee, right? No fee at all. So one song would be 99 cents times one equals 99 cents, right? 99 cents times 2, 99 cents times 3, 99 cents times 4, which means this would just be 99 cents times x. So what I want you to do is I'm going to pause, you fill in those y values. Okay, so I've got my y values in there. And so my equation would be y equals 0.99x. Okay. Let's go over to Spotify. Spotify, it looks like there's a monthly fee, okay? Now don't focus too much on the per month, and Miss Kelly, it says per, yes, but this is for the month, right? This is for the month, okay? This is the one-time fee. So let's write fee by that. So I know at zero songs, right? I know it's cheap, it's 49 cents times zero, but look, I got that $4.99 fee. So at zero songs, if I don't download anything, Spotify still charges me a monthly fee, right? So one song, that would be 49 cents times one song plus the $4.99, right? 49 cents times two songs plus the $4.99. And this keeps going. We'll go all the way down. All right, which leads me to my equation. 49 right, times x plus that 499, that will give you your amount. So I'm gonna pause and you're gonna get those values on the y side. All right, so you're checking your answers there. So we've got my tables and now we're gonna graph both of these on here, okay? So I'll keep um, Spotify and blue, and I'm going to zoom in. But remember, what are my ordered pairs? 1, 99, 2, 198, 3, 297, okay? So I'm looking back at my table, and so, um, ooh, I did 0 here, but I didn't do 0 here. So 0 0.99 times 0, wouldn't that just be zero. So I know that's going through the origin. One is 99 cents. So it's like a little bit above. That's kind of annoying. And then 198 is two. And then 297 is three. So see how it's a little bit off. And then 396 is four. Um, 
Um, so here, I know it's kind of hard to follow that pattern, right? But it's just like slightly above it, isn't it? Every time. It's kind of hard to do that. I get it. Right. And if I was having a hard time doing that, what I would do is I would get a straight edge. And just connect them. Okay. And let me go over these points a little bit so we can still see them. Okay. All right, now let's do the other one. So it's not zero, zero, it's zero, um, four ninety nine. So that would be there. And then one is five ninety seven. Six forty six. Well, this graph is hard. Six ninety five. Um, and that was it. I'm gonna extend my line. All right. So it looks like they do have a point of intersection there, which is really cool. Okay. And to kind of make some sense of this, the blue one was my Spotify, right? And the pink one was Apple. Okay. So kind of what this means, um, you see how it goes down to 10 songs? So at 10 songs, they cost the exact same. And what that means, okay, is every if you're the kind of person that only does 10 songs of downloading, you're going to choose Apple. But if you're the kind of person that does way more than 10 songs, you're going to choose Spotify. So this is all about what you use as a consumer and what's really best for you. <clears throat> okay, so when we talk about Apple Music, remember, Apple Music was why... And this was Y equals 49 cents, but it had that monthly fee, okay? So constant of proportionality. Remember, we talked about that yesterday. Y divided by X. I'm going to remind you, 99 cents divided by 1 is 99 cents. 198, and I'm about to prove it. 198 divided by 2 is 99 cents. 297. Divided by 3, 396 divided by 4. <gasps> Look at that. Every time I'm getting 99 cents. So is it a constant of proportionality? Yes. Okay. The equation, we wrote it up there. Let's just copy it. Constant rate of change. This is what makes it linear, that it has a constant rate of change. Yes. What's my constant rate of change, Joel? 99 cents okay linear shape yes 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 okay contains the origin yes 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 zero zero proportional yes 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 okay now spotify okay y divided by x so we're going to come over here and we're going to say 548 divided by one well that's going to be 548 okay then I'm going to say 597 divided by 2. Whoa. Then I'm going to say 646 divided by 3. Why do I keep getting different answers? Oh, because it's not proportional, right? There's not a constant of proportionality. No. Here's my equation. Is there a constant rate of change? Yes. That's what makes it linear. My constant rate of change is 49 cents per song. It's linear. It does not contain the origin, because remember it started at 
therefore it is not proportional. Okay? Take a look. No constant proportionality. Yes, these questions go hand in hand. I'm going to highlight this. So many of my students today tried to tell me that it was proportional if it was in a straight line. Is that true? This was in a straight line. Was it proportional? No. All right, so it's not about it being linear. Okay, look, they're both linear. It's about going through the origin, that constant of proportionality. So summary for proportional relationships, okay? We want the equation to be in y equals kx. Remember that k that I, we wrote down today? You wrote y divided by x equals k on a note page today. Okay, so the equation looks like that. It goes through the origin. We could also say that um, it goes through, um, so this would be like on a graph, right? And then this would be like a table, 0, 0, right? And then we could also say if it has that constant of proportionality. All right, y'all stay safe, be kind.